Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Unsung Hero. This week's hero is going to be Dianya, the bad boy who used to play for Club Rouge, most famous for this thing. They got in a penalty against PSG. He's normally not a penalty taker, but he thinks, well, fuck it, uh, Van Aken, I'm gonna take this penalty. Of course, he misses. Dennis Rolls Royce got uh, confiscated by the police a couple of weeks after that. His stats are not that bad. Great shooting stats, bad dribbling, and bad physical stats. His stamina is god awful. So uh, I don't know what that is. I have his uh, strike partner uh, Falcao on the bench. Packed him a couple of days ago. Maybe I'm gonna sub him on. We have a, a bit of a strike partnership going on. The rest of the team are some of his uh, former teammates from Bruges, and then just a couple of uh, Argentinian players. But let's see what he can do. And the first opponent uses a Premier League team, but I've never seen anyone use Podence, and uh, that Renato Sanchez is dangerous as hell. Also uses Stevie G. Pretty interesting, I think. We get the ball to Dianya, of course, because he's the main man of this game. Can't finish, but great uh, great shot to start with. He has great heading accuracy, so I try to reach him. Can't reach him, but the ball reaches for him, and that's a great header, but the ball doesn't fly in. I was dominating the, pretty much the first half. Uh, my opponent, uh, I think he, he thought he was an e-sporter by passing the ball around, like a tiki-taka, but never really creating any chances. But of course, the first chance that he gets, and it's really bad defending for me with Mata, he scores a goal. Because obviously he's going to score a goal like that. But okay, uh, I was pretty confident. Give the ball to Diata, and then the greatest dribble of all time. <laughs> getting past him, getting past him. The ball reaches, and really no one. Uh, Vormer gets the ball. Veron, nah, there's no room there. Ball back to Vormer, and then a shot. Not really uh, a big chance, but still. Dianya tries something before the half ends. A bad dribble, goes nowhere. But we get a corner kick, always dangerous. Dianya actually reaches the ball, and then one of the ugliest goals I scored this year. Talia Fico with an absolute bullshit goal. And in the second half I was just trying, what can Dianya do? Is it long shots? Nope. Is it finesse shots? Well, this shot was a lot better. And that's all the game had to offer. A really, really boring game. And I don't know why the ref thinks, well, you're going to get another chance. Fuck it, I'm going to blow the whistle. Dianya didn't do anything in this game. So hopefully a second game will be a bit better. And the second opponent uses another pretty standard team that you see a lot. That Rashford is really, really dangerous. I've never played against that Depay card, so uh, I have no idea what to expect. And then a lesson in bad defending. I play way too aggressive for one of my center backs, and he abuses me. Then I get a corner kick, and you know how I said that Dianya had great heading accuracy. He's going to show it here. Great header, and that's 1-1. He can actually score a goal. What a beast. No, not really. We get another corner kick. Dianya again gets his head through it. Can't really do anything. Shot got blocked with Moreno. I stay calm. Former finds Moreno and that's the 2-1. Great shot from him. I've never used him before but he had 5 star skill moves so that's why I use him. Here Diata gives a uh, pre-assist to my opponent. Really bad but okay. I can live with it. Why not? And remember how I said that... Uh, Falcao was going to be a strike partner. I changed him with uh, Hassama because he's also from Senegal and maybe that clicks a bit better. I changed the things around a bit so that we play with two strikers and I'm going to show you how brilliant I am. Dianya, he, he can't really pass for shit because you can see, but he's really, really good when it comes to this kind of things. And then Gassama is there. I'm the most brilliant coach alive. Not really, but okay. And I keep on going. Great dribble from Sané. He needs to come out with his defender. That leaves room open for Dianya. And that's 2-4. His second goal in this game. But it's not over yet. Sané gives the ball to Dianya. And I know he thinks I'm going to pass the ball. But why would I when I have Dianya on the ball? Cuts inside. And that's his hat-trick goal. What a great game from him. But my opponent decides, well, I need one more goal. Great dribble with Wijnaldum. And then he gets a bit lucky because my tackle with Mata is perfect. Try to put an exclamation point on this victory. Can't because that's a really weak chip. But we actually win the game and Diata scored a hat-trick. What a beast. But of course, the question is, should you put Dianya uh, in your team? Answer is no. Uh, he turns like a tank. Uh, he's obviously not good enough uh, to play in any team. 
I don't see him getting into any of, of your squads. So no, I wouldn't recommend it. If you're really a big Galatasaray fan, I, I would think just save your money so you can get Falcao, but he's not great either, so uh, I don't really know what to do. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm in Division 1 now, so uh, the, the Unsung Hero episodes are going to be a bit more difficult than they used to be, because of course there are a lot better players in this division. But that's going to be all for this week's episode of Unsung Hero. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.